Welcome students. This video will help you to understand the technique of the experiment entitled Gravimetric Analysis of Chloride Salt. The objective is to illustrate typical technique used in a gravimetric analysis by quantitatively determining the amount of chloride uh, ion in a sample. So actually the purpose of the experiment to calculate or to identify the concentration of chloride ion in a sample. The reaction involved here is simple reaction between silver ion that will react with chloride ion to produce AgCl. This is brief uh, theory standing behind this experiment. So the experiment of a gravimetric analysis required to go into three steps. Step number one is sampling Sampling means that we have to dissolve the sample in a water. Number two, precipitating means that we have to precipitate the chloride ion that is dissolved in the first step. We have to, to dissolve it. Number three, filtration. Filtration means that we have to filtrate the product that is precipitated in the first step. After, uh, after filtration, we have to wash the uh, product. These three steps will be explained now in uh, the practical part. The practical part of this experiment requires to have some chemicals. These chemicals are silver nitrate, 0.5 molar, and nitric acid, 6 molar, and acetone uh, liquid, and also we need to have a uh, uh, equipment. Actually, we have this equipment needed, starting by measuring cylinder filtration apparatus that is consisting of funnel and conical flask. Also, we have to have beakers and measuring cylinder, spatula, weighing dish, and washing bottle, and finally the sample needed to be analyzed. Step number one is that we have to take the sample needed by taking the mass, using the sample and using the weighing dish. We have to take the weighing dish into the balance and take the balance to tear position, means making the balance zero, and take the mass needed in the sample. Record the sample and go to next step. Go. Next step is that we have to obtain a filter paper and record its mass. Before taking the filter paper, before taking the filter paper, we have to fold it to the half and then to the quarter. Make sure that it is totally folded and make sure that the balance is zero and record its mass by just keeping the filter paper on the plate. After the reading is come to constant, record the mass. Step number three required to transfer the, the sample into a beaker and pour a water on it. So this is the sample. Throw it in the beaker, make sure that the weighing dish is totally clean. And using the measuring cylinder, we'll take 100 milliliter of water. Pour it into the beaker with the enhance of the Last root, we have to dissolve the sample here. Next is adding one milliliter of nitric acid to the sample. This is our nitric acid, and we have to pour around one milliliter. the 
solution. And again, we have to precisely make sure that dissolving all the quantities of the sample in the solution. We have to swirl it precisely until all the solution will be dissolved. When the solution is dissolved, we will go to the next step. But remember that for our experiment here, we are doing the procedure based on the free sample. This is the first sample. We will do the same procedure in another beaker and third sample in third beaker. As a total, we have to repeat these steps that I have just explained uh, two times to have a total number of sampling of a free sample. So we will label this uh, beaker as uh, number one, this is number two, this is number three. We have to mix our solution to have the product. Actually the procedure is a reaction between silver nitrate and chloride ion in the step here. Now we are going to measure exactly 10 milliliter of silver nitrate into a measuring cylinder. This is 10 milliliter and we are going to mix it and the solution that it should be totally clear after fully mixing using the electrode. I mix the silver nitrate into the solution. You notice that there is a white precipitate uh, accumulated in the lower part of the beaker. This precipitate or the product needed to be filtrated. Next step is to do the filtration. Of course, we have taken the mass of the filter paper, take the filter paper and insert it on the upper side of the funnel and don't forget to moisture the filter paper using a distilled weight water to make the filter paper stick well on the uh, funnel. Uh, this is step required to filtrate our product. Everything is uh, ready. We'll start filtration by just pouring the solution into the filter paper. Pour it and you might mix the solution this way and pour it. You have to make sure that the product, the remaining product should be washed precisely and re-collected uh, on the filter paper. We notice that little bit amount of the product is already there on the filter, uh, on the lower part of the beaker. So add little bit water and drop it in the uh, funnel. Again, we need a little bit washing. Finally, we might better to wash the glass rod from any other quantities of the uh, product that might stuck on the rod. Now the filtration process will be starting actually by uh, the filtrate will be passing through the lower part of the funnel. You notice that the filtrate uh, it is uh, sweeping down, leaving the product on the upper part of the filter paper. So we are going to have a separation of the product which will be located on the funnel and the filtrate will be, which will be uh, sweep down on the uh, lower part of the section uh, of the filtration apparatus which is the conical flask. This process will take around uh, 20 minutes until it get to complete. After the filtration went to completion by separating of totally the filtrate down and the product will be clearly over the uh, upper part of the filtration uh, a flask which will leave the product as a white precipitate or white product on the filter paper. So this filter paper or a dry product needed to be washed using small quantities of water. So we will wash it with uh, three portions of five milliliter of water. So this is the measuring cylinder. 
we'll take five milliliter and wash it I'm doing some washing of the product here and wait until it is totally uh, drying for the product repeat the, pro the procedure or the this step should be repeated two more times by taking five milliliter and wash it again after washing of the product with three portions of five milliliter and after making sure that the product is totally dry we'll go to the again another five portions of washing but this time with acetone so this is our acetone that is needed to be taken as a five milliliter and wash the product using this portion of acetone three times the same way that we have just done with the water so this is the acetone wash the uh, product and wait until all the acetone is sweeped down from the uh, filter paper down to the section flask the objective of uh, washing the product here by five uh, milliliter three times portions of water to make sure that it come to totally dry or washing it from any traces amount of chloride ion also the purpose of washing the product with the acetone actually to make sure that the product is totally dry from any quantities of water now we will wait until it is coming to dry and repeat the washing of the acetone two times then wait until dry then go to the next step which is drying the product now we are on the last step which is the collecting of the product after making sure that the product on the filter paper is uh, came to dry we will remove the filter paper from the funnel and unfold it on the glass watch and transfer this product to oven kept on temperature of 120 degrees Celsius now we are going to transfer the product on the filter paper to the oven kept on the temperature of uh, 120 degree close the oven and wait uh, for about five up to ten minutes until come to dryness now we will remove the, uh, the sample from the oven after make sure that it is dry go to the balance and again take the mass of the dry filter paper with the product and the method of difference of the mass of the product with the filter paper subtract the mass of the empty filter paper that is uh, have been taken the mass at the first step we will get the mass of the product now unfolded the uh, fold uh, the filter paper in a such a way that will keep the product inside it and put the filter paper on the balance and record the mass so this mass will be actually the mass of the filter paper with the product and we have to subtract the mass of the filter paper empty from this mass this will give us the mass of the product this is the last step for this uh, experiment i hope it is clear for you thank you for watching this movie